Hey guys, it's Ernesto. Today we're going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one workshop with Polani. So this workshop is about utilizing artificial light, flash, and also the ice light. So today you're going to see us utilizing both of these light sources to help create some awesome images. So guys, if you <laughs> enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Please share with your friends and family. Please put some comments down below and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this video. So with that said, we're gonna jump straight into this workshop. Working with flash is not that complicated in the sense that people try to make it complicated with ratios and all this good stuff, which is important, I think, but I didn't learn it that way. All I did was basically look at the ambient and play with my flash to see what kind of power I get out of it just to make sure that it's balanced enough with the background. It don't have to match the background exactly, but just balance, because you don't want it to appear like, like it's a flash photo. You want it to appear very balanced. So that's what we're gonna try to do today, balancing those two. And I'm gonna show you how to work with the different, um, hopefully it doesn't rain, <laughs> <laughs> work with the different um, power output on your flash to help you with that balance. So your flash. Your flash. Your flash. Your flash. Well, both flashes. No, no, you, I'm borrowing yours. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. I, <laughs> thanks, 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 man. I, I missed that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. So, put in a snoot on your on your flash or a different type of modifier will help concentrate the light so that the light doesn't spill all over the place. Um, another thing that you could do is when you're working with um, speed lights. The speed lights have these different zooms. Like they could go from 24 to like 200 so it helps also focus the light so if you don't have like a modifier to put on your light you could utilize that little simple feature on your flash to help concentrate that light now when you have a very very concentrated beam of light like that you run into that problem where you know you need to make sure where it hits because if it hits in the wrong place it lights up the wrong place and you can easily see that you take a test shot and you take a test shot, you look at the back of the image and you can see, look at the, analyze your image and see, okay, well, where is this light hidden? And if it's not hidden in the right place, okay, then go and adjust it. Another thing you could do is um, when um, you're working with the flash, if it's very concentrated and you have it here, you just go where the model is, stand up there and see, okay, where is this light gonna hit? Because light's traveling in a straight line, okay. right? So you just have to stand up there and say, okay, where does this, where is this light gonna hit? So you just have to average it and then okay. take a test shot. And if you're right, continue to shoot. The, pro the other thing is because that beam of light is so narrow, your model is gonna be very restricted as far as her movement is concerned. Okay. So if she moves like here, then boom, the light is all out of place. So you have to make sure that you control her as well okay. or him, making sure that they don't move too far. Um, for the most part, when I start out with power, I start out with the half power. I always start there just to begin okay. and just see where it takes me. I may need more, I may need less, but I always start out with half okay. and that quickly gets me to where I need to be because from a, a judging perspective, if you know the half output of your power is probably from here to there, you're going to get a good shot, then okay, you just put, your, put it here and then shoot, power and distance. So judging, that's why I said when you, when you um, on the, the critique that I was giving you, when you were you gotta go home and test your, your power on your light to see how far is it that you need to basically position your light. So, cause when you're working like this guy, like when, oh, there's a lot, this is a different wedding party. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They're busy today. Yeah. Um, but when you, um, when you work with a large group of people, you have to basically be able to quickly, if you work with um, ambient light, you have to be, not ambient light, um, artificial light, you have to be able to quickly get to that, like maybe with one or two shots, test shots, and then the third shot, you should be rocking and rolling, right? So that's the things you have to understand. And, and the only way you understand it is to play with your light and understand the kind of power it pushes out. Um, but then again, is also you have to judge the ambient situation. If the ambient situation is too powerful, maybe your light is not enough may not push out enough power for what you need okay, okay? okay so if it's not going to push out enough power like these little speed lights for you know on a very very sunny day it may not be the most optimal uh solution okay right like now perfect like you probably okay. could get like details in the sky and still be able to expose for your subject with these okay. types of lights so but you, if you are outside on a very, very sunny day, you might need a little bit more power. Okay. I don't generally walk around with a strobe yeah. because it's too much for me. I like my little speed lights and yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll use them until it fails me. Okay. Um, 
All right, so that being said, let's begin to um, play around with some of this. So this light here, I guess, is my light, right? So, yeah. all right. So right now is on the lowest power. Okay. One one twenty eight is is on the lowest power. So yeah. what we're gonna do is to start out, we're gonna put this on, the, you know, half half okay. of power. Oops, I just passed it. Okay. Yeah. So that's half a power. So that's yep. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay. Okay. But one thirty. Is it half? It is. Yeah. One thirty two. Put it right here. That's where I start out. Oh, okay. Half, or 130 yeah. seconds. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay. Now, this doesn't really matter for now. Yeah. What matters now is that you need to get your exposure yeah. for the background. Okay. So, uh, so they're using that. So let's okay. basically let's use this our, as our backdrop. Okay. 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 So first, get your camera. Correct metering as the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's, let's see it. It's 3.8, 3.2, point, um, sorry, 250th of a second. And, uh, um, sorry. Um, where is this info? So, that's your shutter, 250th? Yeah. Drop it to like 150th. 150th of a second? Yeah, because okay. it's very important when working with um, uh, artificial light, especially yeah. flash. Yeah. You cannot, I don't know what your sync speed is on this. It's 250th? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it should be a bit of a yeah. work. I'm at 60th now. Um, 60th. So go up on next, uh, you know. Um, now it tells me I have to go to f7.1 uh, for this uh, ISO 400 you could drop it lower at the ISO 200 yeah okay. is it 200 lowest yep okay so drop it at 200 what I want is be able to get that amp um, the, the details sky? in the sky okay. okay so that's what I want you to expose for okay perfect okay so now let's get this light okay all right who wants to go first Okay, Polani. Yeah. So you got your you're locked in, right? Yes. Sir. You're, not, you're on manual, correct? Yes, manual. One sixty eight and seven point one. So when you work with the flash, this is your main light source, okay? Yeah. So you want your light not to be facing directly sideways to the subject. You want okay. it to be facing going up and down just a little bit, just like the sun. Okay. okay. So Ashley, let's have you stand up right here. Okay. Not too close. So the other thing is, because this is your main light source, what we try to do is have the subject turn away, turn her body away from that main light source. Okay. So Ashley, if you turn your body this way, and then turn your head back into the light. Right now, we're gonna refine this, but right now you just have to get this light yes. okay. right, okay? Yep. So let me bring this up just a little bit more. Oops, that's how high as it goes? No. Oh. And let's turn this on. All right, do do a test shot here. The flash is on, right? Yeah. Yeah, just one moment. Okay. All right, but but as far as right now, you are ready to go. It's just okay. you need to figure out which light you like better, the softer okay. one or a little so bit. I, of I like this one with more shadow filled in. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. So yeah, now so you're ready to rock and roll. Oh, okay. All right. So just for my understanding, what did we do? Okay, so, so she's looking at the light and what way? Is her eyes on the axis of the center of the flash or? So her eyes is towards you. Yeah. Okay. Her face is more biased towards the light source. Okay. Because okay. you want the light to fill in her face. Okay. Okay. And then you shoot in on yeah. the shadow side of her face, which okay. is this side of the face. Yeah. The light is coming here. You shoot in this side. Yeah. You want to shoot on this side. You don't want to come. You don't want to come over here and shoot on this side. That's on the broad side of the face. So okay, okay, okay. you always want to shoot on the shadow side of the face. Okay. And anywhere you put your light, if you yeah. put it over here, yeah. you're going to come and shoot in the opposite, opposite. direction. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, so she always have to position her face biased towards that light. If she don't, then you're not going to have when a great... bias towards the light, that's away from the camera. Yeah, a little okay. bit. So have her okay. face okay. turned a little bit and then her eyes towards you. Okay. Or her eyes could be looking off over here. Yeah. You know different things Got it. and then as far as the pose is concerned her pose is fine yeah. and she could just do simple changes like she could move her hands like run it through her hair okay you know put her hands like here and stuff like that okay. so Polani if you have any more questions let me know the only thing I didn't mention earlier when we were talking about is um your white balance yeah Generally, when I'm working with um, these types of flash, yeah, um, I put it like on daylight. Okay. 
Uh, or you could put it on like um, cloudy. Okay. 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 I'm gonna put it on daylight for now. Okay. What happens with daylight? What daylight has to do is obviously these lights are daylight balanced. Okay. And it also helps um, warm up the background. Okay. Okay. okay? So, and especially at night, it's really, okay. really cool at night. It makes it really, to really- To put it in daylight. Yeah. Okay, okay. It makes it real, makes the tones in the background really, really warm. Okay, okay. 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 So I will try that with them. All right. Same So on this side. <laughs> There's a pain trying to fold this up. <laughs> so like right about here. So you're gonna use this light to basically fill in some of the shadows right there. All right. So we are ready to rock and roll. Whoops. All right. So I'm just gonna let you do your thing since this is the first time we work it together. I'm the type of person that mostly like to pose everybody, but if you could do your stuff, I'll let you do it and we'll play all day. All right. So let's rock and roll. Turn your face a little bit that way. And lean your upper body towards me. A little bit more. More, 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 more. Right there. One second, don't move. I want you to just put, put your hand on your hip like this and bring it around, okay? So I can get a little bit of a gap here. Your left hand. <laughs> there we go. And bring your face around to me a little bit. There we go. Just like that. Hold that. That is hot right there. But these are yeah, fire. That's cool. Fire. All right. So what I'm gonna have you do okay. work with her a little bit. Okay. Okay. So switch. So you're gonna work with Polanyi a little you bit. You got the student then. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> you are lucky, Ashley. <laughs> okay. All right. Cool. So okay. she's a little bit more experienced. So got you don't it. have to. So right then now you have to. Um, concentrate more on is the light Got it. but what I wanted you to do yeah. for a little bit yeah I'm gonna let you shoot a little bit but okay. what I want you to do is just shadow me just a little bit just to sure. see how yeah I'm playing with the okay. light but it's still, it's still flashing. you you turn it off yep okay good yeah. all right <sighs> was that your mom she left put your hands on your hip just turn your body a little bit this way okay side that now, lean your upper body worse with me a little bit more. So don't move your legs, right? You, this leg is gonna help support you by just pushing in, okay? Put your hands on your hip and just turn your body this way, other way, this way. Okay. Just like that, yep. Kind of open your chest. Yeah. Okay, so with your right hand, just bring it up like right here and put your hands on your hip. Just say that. All right, and then on the count of three, I want you to look at me. One, two, three. Gorgeous. And I have a, basically is a stance like this, karate stance. And you lean your upper body. Just like that. All right, so right now you're out of that light, so you need to just back up a little bit. Okay. Just like that, put your hands on your hip. All right. <clears throat> All right, turn your head into that light. Yeah, I want you to look and chin up a little bit. There we go, hold that. Can we friend each other on Facebook? If you put that up. So your eyes right now is looking kind of crossed eye. Just make sure you follow the bridge of your nose, okay? I mean, like, if you don't mind, like. Even though you're not looking directly into the light, it's fine. I mean, you know the Tyra Banks mice? You know the Tyra Banks mice? You know the Tyra Banks? Smize. Smize? Mm hmm. No, what's that? Oh, you don't know what the Tyra Banks is? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. Yeah, he doesn't know either. It's, it's squinting your eyes just a little bit. Just like that, but you have to relax. Relax? Mm hmm. Turn your, head into, turn your head into the light. Okay, and then when I ask you to just switch. 
you know what close your eyes chin down just a little bit turn your head a little bit more towards that light there we go and when i tell you to open your eyes hang on hang on one second don't move all right one two three gorgeous one more yeah. i know you just tell me what to do i will <laughs> hang on there's a bug on my lens can't get rid of it all right get into that dragon stance close your eyes one second let me get my focus point here all right one two three gorgeous gorgeous so now let's bring that light up at her face all right so now all right coming a little bit closer babe just like that right there all right tilt your head a little bit towards me this way just like that chin down just a bit and your left hand you can put it right on your lean forward lean oh you went to just like that. Ah, Hold okay. that. So that that's what, uh, yeah. Your left hand, hide it a little bit. Hide it, hide it. There we go. One second. Beautiful. Put the light back where it was so I can, um, don't move. I know it's, don't move. I just want to get that light in the shot. Don't move. Here. Hang on, I'll tell you. Move it towards her a little bit more. And move it that way. More, more. Right there. You want the flash facing us though? Yeah. Rotate it a little bit. Yeah, stop. Yep. All right, look at the light. All right, one more. Don't move. Don't move. All right, relax. All right, Polani. Okay. All right. So, Polani, you go ahead and get yeah. get a shot in. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing so before that light dies. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, main light. So, so basically, oh wow. Oh, I'm at 1.2. Okay. So we have to adjust yeah. here a little 2 bit. 2.8. 2.8. Okay. Yeah. So 125th you know, of a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. I'll have so 60th. Yeah. Or, yeah. Even. or down. 30th. Okay. Yes. We'll go on ISO. Or or you could bump up the ISO. Yeah. I'm an ISO 400. Yeah. Just keep it. Keep your shot at a, at a little 30. bit of. No, no, no. A little bit faster. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna look at it. All right. Go ahead. Um, I need to go. Hey, you're in my spot. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. No, 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 no. You're no, fine. No. Ah. Yeah. So this Here's is. My time. Is this okay? All I need to. Did you fire the flash? Uh, fire the flash. Okay. I think that's relatively okay. okay. We'll fire the flash yeah. and see how it looks. I couldn't it all the way. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you need help? Oh, no. Are you I, got, yeah, I got it now. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's so okay. hard. I'm like... Ready? Yeah. So I'm going to go for the sky, right? Uh, you could go for the sky or you could go for sky. all that little... Uh, light. Yeah. Okay, got it. It's only 7.45, it feels like it's later. Yeah, I know, I know. You and me both. Okay, the headlight is too bright, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But you know what, it's because on the slave mode, I think it just retained the set, last settings ah, that I had. Ah, okay. So okay, we need to put sense. this on yeah. 128. Yeah. Yeah, let's put this on 128. That's where it was for me. All right. And it's still hitting her. 
Got it. Okay. This is great. Okay. Ready? Go. You good? All right, so. <laughs> cool. Is that cool? Really so, another thing is because I don't have this on second curtain. Yeah. So, what's happening is because. Yeah. yeah you yeah, know? Yeah, okay, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So. I, was I don't what it was. You explained it. Yeah. So now we have to put this on second curtain, which I have never done with these lights. Okay. So let's go figure it out. <laughs> so that will help with this drama that I'm going yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. So you're doing perfect. We just need to figure out a technical issue here. Yes, okay. All right. Oh, thank you. Huh? All right. So, where is your second curtain, buddy? Menu assist. All right, Polani. I think I think we can only put this on uh, second curtain while it's on the camera. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. So it's not gonna be no, as see, perfect. Okay, this sword, um, this sword, we, You know, if you click when when the car moves past her, mm -hmm. just when the car moves past her, this is. I think this might get close to second curtain. All right. To relax man all right yeah that's so, one mean red on. light there don't move okay. <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get both of you guys in the shot uh -huh. so you're gonna do the same pose like before just step over this way a little bit mm -hmm. all right so yeah that's their costumes that's what they were wearing today all right, you're gonna turn your body this way, though, and then I'm gonna have you. No, no, no! I want you guys back to back. So come over this way. No, no, Ash. Yeah. All right. Okay. So bring the bring this this leg here. That's close, right here. Just bring bring it up. Bring it across, across that. Way. No, no, no! You see this one? Bring. So right now that, you see I don't want this to be pointing at me, so just bring it up mm -hmm. and then across. Just like that, just like that. And then you can put your hands in your pocket, just like that. Just like that. Beautiful. Now, turn your body a little bit towards me. Uh, put your elbow on her. Let me see how that looks. Put your elbow up here. See how that looks. And just relax it. There we go. Turn your upper body worse to me a little bit. All right, hold that, don't move. Let's just see. Hang on. This is a test. This is a test. No, I'm just testing something really quick. Just want to see how this looks. All right. So instead of you putting your hands there, Face me directly and cross like how she was before, like this. And maybe, let me see, like put your hands through here. Just like that. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. Yep. All right, so now we just have to wait for the cars. All right, so help me with the focus. Could put the light on them. All right, could get rid of it. You could get rid of it. Get out of the way for the cars. Hold that pose. <laughs> Hold that pose. Just make sure you're not blocking her face. All right, relax, ladies. All right, got it, Polani. All right. Dave, go over this way a little. Go this way a little. Right there.
Any more? No, not yet. They're coming. They coming? All right. No, they had the, they had the light though. All right, relax. Relax, everyone. All right, guys. So this is Dave. Dave is our wonderful assistant today. Dave was doing double duty. He was helping out with lighting. He was helping out the ladies today with whatever they needed. He was basically very hands-on, very helpful. So thank you very much, Dave. I don't think we could have done it without without you. So Dave, where could they find you if they want to get in touch with you to do some photo shoots and whatnot? Sure. Thanks. Uh, yeah, this was a great uh, experience. I had a lot of fun doing it. Appreciate. Ernesto does great work, and Polani. Um, yeah, I, I'm on Facebook, uh, D-A-E-D Photos, and I'm also on uh, 500pics.com backslash David Dixon, D-I-X-O-N. All right. Thanks. All right, guys. So, guys, make sure to like this video if you like it. Put some comments down below. Let us know what you think about this video. And, guys, please share this video with your friends and family. And lastly, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.